who's ready to go to the hair salon with me? You ladies are, and you know it. Who doesn't love going to the salon with other women? I know I do. We pick up a lot of nuggets when we do that. So let's go over a couple things. I get my hair color cut and styled every five weeks. Now, I probably could go every four weeks considering the amount of gray that I get, but with wearing my hair down, I can kind of get away with it. And there are so many amazing products now that can kind of get you through to your next color. I just shared a video a couple days ago talking about a color line by Living Proof that just launched that does just that. So there's so many things out there to resource and I will make sure to put some of those products down in the drop down because I do utilize some of those things. I started out getting my hair color touch up every six weeks but we had to knock it down to five and I just can't go there to four. It's just too often and I don't wanna spend the extra money and it takes time. I know you ladies understand. We are going to go to my hairstylist salon. She has a salon built off of her home. Her name is Lori. I have been with Lori for, it will be 26 years. Yes, 26 years with one hairstylist. It'll be 26 years in October. Uh, the reason that I know this is that Kirsten was born in August of 1993 and I started going to Lori when Kirsten was two months old. I've been with her for the long haul and, and I love doing that. I'm very loyal when I start to work with someone because they get to know you. Um, but it's been amazing. It's been amazing to be with someone that long. Um, Lori is an expert at color. She just does a fantastic job. Uh, many people in the community go to her for their hair. When I first started going to her 26 years ago, she worked at a department store, Hudson's, many of you will recall that, which turned into Marshall Fields and then into Macy's. She left Hudson's and she went to another salon for a while before she went and opened her own salon off of her home. She's a one-man show and I love that as well. So Lori will go over everything with us today. She will talk about my color. She will share what she uses. She will talk about my hair because there's some things that you have to think about, especially if you're gray. Uh, some gray is a little bit more finicky than other grays, and I believe mine is, and that's, that can determine what products you use. Uh, she will talk about the highlight technique she is going to do. I generally leave it up to her. That's the beauty of going with someone for so long. She will also talk about the cut and um, she will offer some tips and suggestions. I have taken you to Lori's salon in the past. I have two videos. I will have them linked in the drop down box of today's video. One was on the cut and style and one was on color. Not a lot has changed since then, but I just figured, hey, let's go again. Why not, right? Okay, I will shut up. We will go to Lori's salon, and then after Lori's salon, I'll come back with a whole finished do. All right, ladies, let's go. We are at Lori's salon. Lori is prepping the solution right now to get started with my highlights. I will share all the details. Lori will be sharing everything we're doing today with you. Everything that I can think of that would be a question that you would have, we are going to try to tackle. Ladies, we all have different hair texture. Color deposits differently on different people's hair. Am I correct, Lori? Yes. So we will talk a lot about that. I am sharing what I do. Lori will be sharing about my hair. You will have to tailor everything that we talk about today to your specific goal, your specific hair, your needs. This is when you would wanna to talk to your hair technician, maybe about what you're looking for, and things could be tweaked for you. Different colors could be used for you to achieve the same thing. At the end, it's always about what you are looking to achieve as your end result. There could be a different process to get there, but let's get started. Good morning, um, I'm Lori. I've been doing Tracy's hair for, I think we said 20 or 25 years. 26 in October. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, today we're, we're doing what we usually do for Tracy hair color. 6NN. It's the uh, Vero K-Pak Age Defy. 
with 20 volume developer. And I'm, this is mixed equal parts. But when um, Tracy had mentioned that somebody wanted to know about how much and what we're doing, and, and um, one of her followers did contact me actually and asked about some specific things. And it's really best to have a professional do it because if you're trying to put things on your hair, there's so many variables. So if you're going to try to uh, duplicate this, it won't necessarily happen. Just like Tracy had said just a minute ago, that her hair texture, porosity, and everything is different. So we'll give you lots of tips, but the biggest tip I would say is seek a professional that you trust. Let's talk about that, Gray. Let me share that I do my color touch up every five weeks. I believe I said that in the intro. I could probably do every four, right, Lori? Yeah, but it's okay to stretch it a little bit. Yeah. And there's products, there's really nice products that you can use. Um, you know, people use sometimes the spray and uh, the powder or like it. This yeah, is, and I do resource that yeah. stuff. So right now you're doing the color. Yes. We start with color before we would do the highlight. Right. We, and we'll start with the touch up. This color stays on uh, 40 minutes. It's, it's a long processing time, but because of the age defy color, it takes, it's good coverage. But these gray ones are kind of tough to, to cover. Anyways, and so we'll put it on for the roots for about 20 minutes and then, or 25, and then we'll pull it through the ends. Typically, I don't pull it through the ends on Tracy's hair every five weeks because sometimes that can create a lot of buildup, and it's not necessary. It just really decide, uh, depends on the look you're trying to achieve. So um, today, though, we will be pulling it through because we're going to be putting some highlights in Tracy's hair today. Tracy and I were just discussing about why I use Age Defy on her. We did not start there. She obviously didn't have gray hair when she started coming mm -hmm. to me, but um, as we noticed that her, her gray hair was becoming more resistant to the other color, we decided that, jo well actually it's Joyco Lumashine is what I would typically used to use on her. <laughs> so you use Joyco Lumashine, Lumashine on a lot of people probably. Yes I do. Then we stepped it up. And I, I love the Luma Shine, and because what's in the, the name is Shine. And this has a nice shine um, to it, but the HD5 is slightly more opaque. So when you're consulting with your hairstylist, understand you, what you, what's the most important thing? Is it every single gray hair is covered? Or is it, hey, I don't mind if you're showing through because, hey, I'm a certain age and it's right. okay, because I'd rather have a more translucent look. And so, um, and a little more shine. So that is really yeah. between you and your um, <clears throat> hairstylist, but a good console is like priceless, really. So if they have an understanding of Tracy Knight, since we've been doing this for a long time, and we, we don't have to spend a lot of time in console. console. No. However, the first thing you came in, we talked about, right. and I showed her some pictures of some different color that we were talking about highlights, and we were um, trying to decide what would be the best fit for her today. And sometimes you don't know what you want. So come in, look at pictures, bring some pictures to your stylist. And often I will tell people, if you don't know what you want, tell me what you don't want because everybody knows what they don't yeah. like or Great want. Great advice. Yeah, so if that, that will help your stylist navigate where you're gonna right. end up. So, right. um, but yeah, so that's what we're, that was a decision on the, the age defy though. So don't, go home and or go to your stylist and say, I have to use H Defy because you may not need it. Lori, you have the color on, but you haven't pulled it through yet. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and then so how long are you going to leave this on before you do the pulling through? I'm gonna leave it on 20 minutes and then I'm gonna start pulling it through. It takes about five minutes and then I'll leave it on for uh, 15 more minutes. I probably will dilute it down, given that it's 20 volume developer. This is something that people don't maybe understand, but the higher the developer, the number, 20, 30, 40, the more levels of lift that you will get. So we don't need to lift this color because we want to deposit. We want it to be all, we're looking for a really one color because we're gonna go back in and put the highlights after. Um, we don't always do that, but that's what we're doing today. So I'll dilute it down and take it down to about a 20 or 10 volume and then so it acts more like a stain, which will hold better and it's less damaging on the hair as well. So that's a good thing because really that should always be in the front of your stylist's mind is protecting the integrity of the hair. Tracy's got great hair. Um, she can go through a lot. 
um, but not everybody does, I don't. Um, and we were just discussing about color, about if you were to put this color that I put on Tracy's hair, and if someone says, I love this color, and I want it to be this color, and they went out to the store and bought it, if I were to do that, my hair would be black. And my hair is, I mean, I'm blonde right now, but I used to be a brunette, but I got so much gray hair, I, used, I kind of was over trying to cover it, so I went, ah, it just kept bleaching out to blonde, so I'll go with it. So the texture, the porosity of your hair, that's all really, really important. So don't assume you can, as we're giving you, you know, ideas about what we're doing with Tracy, don't think that you can go home and do this, um, mm -hmm. and you'll get the same results, because... Right. And even with Tracy, um, now she doesn't, Tracy, you don't get out in the sun a lot, do you? And nope. it's, but this is summertime, well, kind of in Michigan. <laughs> you had a lot of rain. But anyways, through the summertime, the hair acts, um, it, I mean the sun bleaches out your hair a lot. So therefore it makes the hair more porous. So if the hair is extremely porous and you go to do the same thing that you, you know, you did the last time, like in the winter, um, when your hair is not as porous, you're going to get different results. This You could have the same stylus, the same color, everything the same, and it's going to look different. That's why it's important for you to have a very good consultation. Okay, we're just, we dilute, I, I diluted it just with water, actually, is how I do it. I am just pulling it through the ends, actually, just so now she'll, after we are finished, we'll let it set for 15 minutes just to get some good deposit on. So again, as it, it acts as a, a stain. So doing it at the shampoo bowl because it's kind of messy with the long hair. So just kind of saves color splattering all over. So when, when you wash the color off, I and mean, we did have a little bit of color left around here, but one of the uh, little hacks, if you will, that um, is to take the color, and I, I should have, I guess I could have showed you at the bowl, but if there, you know, there's color all along through here and it, you stain, one of the things to do before you get to the salon is to put some moisturizer on your skin so it'll be less likely to absorb it. The other thing, and when they're washing it off, you actually take the color and you, and you do this and you wash it and it creates this really big, messy look around the face, but it usually washes off. Now we color did- Color takes away color. Yes, color removes color, but, um, but it didn't take it all off. So we still had to use a little bit of the color removal. Mm -hmm. uh, removal so. For my hair, we are just doing a trim. So we're just doing a touch up. I'm not getting a new style today. What Lori is going to share with you is details about my cut if you are interested in having a cut done like mine. Bear in mind, we all have different thickness and texture of hair. So again, you may not necessarily achieve the same look because those factors play a role. One of the questions that recently was asked of me is, does Lori use a razor when she cuts my hair? And I've been with Lori for 26 years. She has used a razor on my hair, there's no question. I didn't recall if she's used a razor anytime recently, but we did have a conversation about the use of a razor. So why don't you share on that, Lori? Okay, different textures of hair. If you have really coarse, curly, really curly hair, um, the razor can make that hair kind of explode. So you may say no, you know, but um, don't be afraid to talk to your stylist and let them know if it's a first time visit, this doesn't go well. If you've had it done, one of the things that, and most people should know this, but just in case is, if you have a lot of bulk through here to take some of the bulk out, we'll use a razor for texturizing, but um, never on this top area because those little hairs are going to be shorter and they're going to be popping up there and you're not going to like that at all because then you're going to be fighting to get those little curly fuzzy hairs down. So uh, with Tracy's bangs, we're just giving her a nice light trim about a half an inch. Hair grows about an average of a half an inch per month. Tracy's probably grows a little bit faster than that. Nice blunt ends. Tracy likes her hair just to kind of come down and, you know, kind of swoop back. But um, mm -hmm. we always part Tracy's hair in the middle and do a middle um, part for the cut because that gives her flexibility to throw it either way. Now, if you always, always, always wear your hair um, right down the side there, then have them cut it down the side. But otherwise, if you want flexibility, just have a center part, and that gives you a lot more flexibility. We're just basically taking a half an inch off, but um, when I do Tracy's uh, trim, her hair right at the top of the ears, down or near the occipital bone, that's all one length. It just gives her some nice weight at the end. 
that's what she likes. If some people like it really thin and feathery on the ends, that's nice too, but you wouldn't you wouldn't leave all that hair down there. So sometimes we add texture to her hair. I think what we'll do is we'll wait till after we see how it blows out, you know. If your hairstylist is cutting your hair afterwards, don't be alarmed, that's the way most people do. <laughs> Um, so because sometimes you can't see weight until it's all styled. Yeah, because I know I there's many times that you'll take scissors to my hair once it's already done. Mm -hmm. But some people say they're just getting carried away, but they'll see something mm -hmm. in it, and then you can't see when it's wet. So Okay, so Lori, we've done the bangs. You've actually done pretty much everything to do with the cut. Why don't you describe a little bit about the cut? Okay, Tracy's basically a long layer haircut. And we do the scissor cut on the, on the ends because it gives her nice clean ends, um, looks healthier, shinier, and I think you do like that, mm -hmm. that your hair looks like that. So long layers, um, and again, center part, so she can flip it. Yeah. But the part issue that I did want to bring up that I mentioned earlier is that if she's wearing her hair off to the side, like this, mm -hmm. and this is where people get in trouble, go, this side seems longer, it is. So when you measure your hair, if you're doing this, um, it's the same. Well, if it's when you pull it down here, this is to here. This is I'm gonna turn you this way um, Now it's like this side is so much longer So this part actually needs to be shorter. I usually will clip off the corner So if you're wearing a side part this area actually needs to be shorter with Tracy's She's got more versatility doing the center part that works for her mm -hmm. now We did talk about texturizing or thinning and she's she's got a lot of hair um, her hair is you're getting longer and um, I feel like this is something it's a feel thing to me and I feel like right in this areas right here is getting a little bit heavy so I am going to take the razor I don't section off I just get in there and I'm, I'm going to actually use the razor on Tracy just to take a little bit of the bulk out of this area here um, because you like your hair a little bit fuller in this mm -hmm. area right mm -hmm. so this it lightens the low but I stay away from the areas the top areas Stay away from cowlick. She's got a little, you know, some movements, you know, that if you put it, the texturizing into a cowlick, ugh, that's going to be awful. So, I can imagine. yeah, and then we might texturize again after, but right now I can feel this when it's wet that her hair is starting to get a little bit too heavy, so we're just taking a little bit to it. But that's not every time. I would not typically um, do this every five weeks because. If you're thinning it out every five weeks, pretty soon your hair is going to be very thin. So, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you need it in right. certain areas. Um, so, and I'm going to chime in. This is where I mean, I have never had a discussion with Lori about razoring my hair because she is the expert, not me. I'm just the client. So we talk about if we're going to make a change, but. She's the expert, so she would know if my hair is feeling too heavy in an area. It's not really even a discussion I feel the right. need to have with her. My biggest thing is find a hair technician that you have a good relationship with, mm -hmm. that you can be very open and have that dialogue with, and then kind of, if you can set them free, then you get to just sit in the chair and relax. Right. And that's what, what I want to do. That's what I enjoy to do. Sit here and let her do what she's an expert at, and I'm just the client. Exactly. <laughs> do whatever you want. Well, often Tracy comes in here and does a lot of work for you yeah. guys. Yeah, she's right. working on it, and she doesn't yeah. even look up we sometimes. Even, you yes. just say, do you want to do anything different? And I'm right. like, nope, and we just she does her thing, and I do mine. We're mixing today for Tracy's highlights. Um, we're using the Joico, yeah, and there it is, Blonde um, Life 9 Plus. That means it'll lift up to nine levels. And then we're using 40 volume, the Luma Shine developer. Um, you can mix it differently. You can use 10 volume, 20, 30 volume. Again, how bright do you want it to go? I did equal parts um, because it's off scalp bleaching. I'm using the strongest mix because we have to cut through all that color we just put on. But um, that's just the nature of doing layering your colors. So, um, and we want to try to pull as much of the red out of Tracy's hair because Tracy pulls a lot of red in her hair. Just dry her hair, um, it's slightly damp to get ready for the highlights, but what a beautiful, beautiful brown color um, that just, it's rich, it's, um, she still has a little bit of warm tones, that's what Tracy pulls, so, and so many people want to fight that, but embrace it. it is, I know, I try you to are. Exactly, yeah. yeah. We're going to go ahead and put some highlights in there, but uh, 
this is Tracy what did you say about once or twice a year you yeah this is really the color that I wear year-round mm -hmm. and this is a complimentary color for my skin tone mm -hmm. I really believe but I do you know once in a while maybe once a year like right now generally mm -hmm. before the summer months or spring summer I may throw in some highlights just for something fun to do yeah. And once in a while, I may do something in the fall. It, I don't really have a rhyme or reason. I'm not someone that continues to keep highlights in my hair all the time because I just really like this color. I think it accents my eyes as well, which is something that I notice. If you deviate too much from your natural color, mm -hmm. sometimes I don't feel that it looks the best with your skin tone mm -hmm. and your eye color. I agree completely. I mean, you can have fun, but when you get way out there, it's not. This is this is how you were created with all yeah. these colors. And Enhance stuff. your natural beauty. Right. Now, if you're younger, I think that's a time to play with it if you can afford the upkeep. And we can talk more about that as we're progressing. Right. But as you get older, this is this is a personal. This is just me personally sharing. I feel like the older you get, the more you just want to stay closer to your natural and enhance that. I agree 100%. <laughs> Lori is now doing highlights. Yep, we're, um, we're, we chose to not to do this technique with uh, the weaving technique and be, instead of the balayage, which is what we've done in the past. Um, we talked a little bit about that, like just because balayage sounds fun and everybody's getting it doesn't mean that's what you need, right? Right. right. And so w when we uh, did a consultation before we got started and we and Tracy looked at some highlights that she liked, we decided we wanted, I think your comment was, if I'm going to pay for it, I want to see it, right? right? Absolutely. So I'm using a little bit bigger pieces and I'm using the foils and play, typically I actually use the um, highlight papers. I just like working with them better. It's not wrong or right. It just is. I'm not getting right in the root area. I'm trying to just feather it a little bit so it's a softer grow out because this hair, by the time fall comes, she's going to not want all these highlights. So we're um, putting some up not right on the root area. The foil will hold the heat in a little bit better. And since we have to cut through all this color, it's important, you know, we, we're using the foils in the higher volume of um, developer for the highlights. So we're not going to put much on the top. We're going to do a really fine, but underneath we're going to do a little bit bigger pieces. Not huge because we don't want to stripe it effect either. Mm -hmm. So, but um, there's just, we just talked about earlier about you have to trust, you know, the outcome. What's, again, consultation. What are you hoping to achieve when you get your color done? You know, and if you don't, you don't determine what they're going to do. Your stylist should be determining how she's going to achieve that outcome. But you just need to communicate what you're hoping to see. Mm -hmm. So, right. um, because if you start telling, if that, I told Tracy, it'd be like me telling the mechanic how to fix my car. That would be crazy because I have no idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know my air conditioning is not working, but I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what's wrong. So. Um, trust your, again, again, just what goes back to what Tracy had said earlier, get somebody that you trust and right. you can work with. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just think it makes your life easier. Who has time to move around from person to person? I Just find right. who you like and stick with them. Right. And I think sometimes we as women, we complicate our beauty <laughs> yeah. too much, more right. than what we need to. Right. And I think we can eliminate a lot of that. The, these top sections, if you notice, I was going very, very fine and just feathering it out so it's just a soft look up there. But um, we talked about we like the depth, we like the color, and it goes nice with, around her face. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave this section. We're not going to put any highlights, which sometimes that's where you want your brightest highlights, but we're not going to do that. We're going to leave it. And likewise, I'm going to just take this fine section around the face and I'm not going to put any color around her face either. So she has all that depth around her face.
I feel pretty. You should start singing this song. Okay, time for Tracy to get her highlights washed off. Um, it took a lot longer because we were trying to get a lot of the gold, uh, the red out of there. So that's a pretty color right through there. Um, but we'll still probably have to use um, a toner. Some people call it glossing, some people call it glazing, but something just to kind of uh, neutralize some of the um, red tones that she might still have in there. So. And I feel like every time you we do highlights, you almost always have to put right. a toner to kind of, yeah, right. it's normal. And it was on her hair, um, gal, about 35, 40 minutes because we had to cut through all that color, but I would not recommend leaving it on 35, 40 minutes if you're doing it on your own. I don't recommend you do it on your own, so. And if, now, would you say that if, let's say someone was younger and they weren't coloring their hair oh, to yeah. cover gray, you would never no, need to leave it on it. No, you would not need to, so. But again, this should be something you're getting done by a hair technician, not on your own. Right. <laughs> Some pretty blonde highlights in there. I don't usually go this blonde with Tracy, but um, we're just trying something a little different. And we want to get as much of that red out of there, which looks like we accomplished that. We were just talking about putting a toner or a gloss or whatever they call the different terminologies for it on my hair. Generally, I would say Lori does, but today we are considering that. She is going to dry it a little bit and then make that decision afterwards, is that right. correct? Yeah. yeah. Generally, we don't bring Tracy up this light, but since we've got most of the red out of there and that's what we were looking for, we may not need it. And mm -hmm. even though a lot of people will do this with every chemical service, it's still another layer of chemicals on your hair. So it's, it's, it's very mild, but it's still one more layer. We've already done two layers of, of color. And that's why there's no, um, it's not one set recipe. Do this, this, this. It's mm -hmm. look and feel. And, it's you know. really about what the ultimate goal is at the end. Mm -hmm. And there's different ways to achieve that. So I think that's the, really a big message here. familiar ladies from my hair tutorial video again Lori used this on me like 26 years ago <laughs> and I have been buying it ever since and she's using it today so it's not something you hear about all the time bedhead products I don't yeah. like but love this stuff So the final, after we finish blow drying, we use a little bit of the after party again. Love. It, uh, it doesn't weigh the hair down, so you can use plenty of that. But I don't put it right on the scalp usually, but just to give mm -hmm. a, a cleaner. It gives so much shine too. Mm -hmm. I think that product is such a shine enhancer. It is, it is. So, and then I, um, and you see all the volume she got from the round, round brush and using the hairspray, that was a good thing. But if we, um, and a lot of the times you'll go with through and you'll, you know, put a little back combing in, oh, mm -hmm. and then you run your fingers through it, and you probably end up pulling up, pulling out part of it, but it's not. But it, you know, I think I do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, um, but I think this is pretty. This mm -hmm. is uh, a little different for Love Tracy it. this time. Love the color. Looks it, great. Thank yeah, you, and a little more on the the back, but yeah, I think it turned out really pretty. I'm happy with, and I like that we kept it like deeper around her face and mm -hmm. that disc because mm -hmm. that doesn't interfere with like you said your colors and yep. your makeup and stuff that's right. and we know that that's that's good for you but you can still have fun you mm -hmm. know with the stuff back through there It's been three days since going to the salon to see Lori for my color touch up, my highlight, my cut and style. I washed my hair today for the first time so you can kind of see the highlights 
popping through. My lighting is terrible today. It is pouring down rain and it is super dark in my home. But today is three days. Don't forget that a couple weeks ago, I did a hair tutorial really doing the same thing that I did today with Velcro rollers. You can get to that video right up here. The other video you will want to check out is last week, I did a makeup tutorial really just recreated that look today. I really just used one different shadow, but everything else is the same. So if you like the makeup look, you can get to the makeup tutorial right up here. You can also get to those videos in the drop down box of this video. Everything that was used on my hair while at Lori's salon will be linked with the colors as well. And Good luck with whatever you choose to do with your hair this summer. Thank you for joining me and I will see you Friday.